we will be added to, to the public eye no matter how much we have. And it's an organization solely made of the affected. As a matter of fact, we don't know more about the affected than they do. As a command, your job is to make sure the operators are always in the best condition. This is operator management page. You can manage and train your operator here. Uh huh. And operator play previous record for them to make sure they understand what is required of them. You don't need to do this because you're better off letting other and the weapon. I read my job assignment since your commandership. I must inform you that it would be prudent to study all these records. Tap for more information on the operator. That yeah, is super cool. Get the battle record for your oh to increase the level in their stats. To reach a certain level, you you be able to promote them, giving them the responsibility token, to give the potential base stats and talent effect. Here you can view their their rank. This show the choice between you and the operator. I trust will improve their moral and increase their preference on the battlefield. Increase the out of the winning the next battle. You should play battle record for your operator right away. Get out the card to select this corresponding battle record. Or long press to select multiple battle records to earn XP faster. Spotting level by swapping down and PRC will automatically select the battle record. Wow, this is good, dude. Max up. Level up. So what I want to do also is... Core caster. Okay. Uh, we have information on her. Yo, come on, experience. Nice. We have, okay, okay. And we have other equipment. Aww. Uh, those are nice. My favorite is Yato for sure. She's good, dude. Multiple mission completed. Anyone got a pair to level 10? Oh, we kept in mission, we have more. Skill summary. And the best thing about the operator is when you got to uh, promote. Wait a second. DZ doesn't change a lot, but these guys. I think they upgrade more. I, I was expecting more of a change of character. The way they look. Uh, mission is do. Any operator level 3. In this case, it's going to be the one I want to upgrade, of course. I actually like your biscuits. So that's how you do it. Upgrade any star operator. Ah. One tree star. These are to treat the same. Vanguard, sniper, medic. Oh, this is good, dude. Okay, let's go. Starts another training. A fast moving got trigger controlled by a Rudin Recon Squad. Imperator from the same class may have different abilities. Uh, the Vega Plume has a low deployment cost as well as balanced attack and defense. At the same time, Plume can recover some costs from the for defeating an enemy. Making her a good choice for early game. I deploy plume to stop the enemy advancing. Let's check it out. Uh, attack speed. More enemy troops are coming, but plume gotta block all of them. Fortunately, Vanguard Fang has arrived. Fang is a bit better. Also has a very low deployment cost, but unlike plume, Fang has lower attack and higher defense. She can also block two enemy at the same time. On top of that, Fang ability can also provide lots of cost periodically, which will be ideal for the su subsequent deployment of the other operator. Please deploy Fang immediately to defense against them coming uh, enemies. Hell yeah! This is actually pretty good. Can I want to get another enemy? Minus one. Eh. I'm not going to be using any of those. I got plume. Thank. Yeah, you suck. 
But she speaks English, so that's kind of cool. Oh, we got first clear. Heck yeah. They got to have low deployment costs as well as well balance offensive and defensive capability. An excellent choice for the early stage of battle. That can provide a deployment point for your squad and this is well to leading the battle. Press this button to add to the quick formation page. Like at least one Vanguard to add to your squad here. I have a Vanguard. I like I actually like Vigna. Vigna she's cool. Cause she has she has a good range. But she's weak. 